Britain sent a C-17 military transport plane with 50 troops and humanitarian aid on board, heading to Barbados and the British Virgin Islands, while another was to head to the Caribbean later Friday, officials said. A military ship is also nearby offering assistance, while another laden with more aid has been diverted from the Mediterranean. Sharon Flax Brutus, director of tourism for the British Virgin Islands, said that the damage was difficult to assess because communications were down, but that many homes are without roofs, or have been diminished to merely foundations. Shops have been destroyed as well so there will be no food available. The majority of the poles for electricity have been destroyed so there will be no power for months. Tourism, which is Anguilla's main industry, will be down for months as most hotels have been destroyed and so there will be no income for many months. In Turks and Caicos, another British territory struck by the hurricane, the disaster agency said on Twitter, national shutdown has been declared. All residents and tourists are instructed to stay indoors. Response too slow? British Prime Minister Theresa May said the impact of the storm had been absolutely devastating, telling BBC Radio, everything, for some people, has been destroyed. On Thursday her government increased the aid budget for Irma to a pound 32 million, 42 million dollars, 35 million euros, from an initial a pound 12 million. The military ship Mount Bay visited Anguilla on Thursday, where Royal Marines and Army engineers helped clear the airport runway and restore power and communication services. The ship, which was sent to the area before the hurricane hit, was due to deliver tents and water purifying equipment to the British Virgin Islands on Friday. HMS Ocean, a second ship, has been diverted from the Mediterranean to take further supplies to the Caribbean, including 10,000 buckets for water purification and 5,000 solar lanterns. But some Icelanders criticised Britain's relief efforts as too slow. We have huge trees and some of our oldest trees are still lying across the roads, roads are remaining impassable, she said. A Downing Street spokeswoman said, We believe that we were swift to respond and we continue to get humanitarian aid to people in desperate need. Foreign Office figures show there are currently 88,000 British citizens in the British overseas territories of Anguilla, the British Virgin Islands and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Hurricane Irma has been ripping through the Caribbean since Wednesday, with its violent winds and torrential rains leaving a trail of devastation and killing 12 as it hurtles towards the United States, where up to a million people have been told to flee.